Filling up the gaps at the bottom with rocks and then on top of that just filling in those smaller gaps with dirt. We've got a little bit of clean out to do down there, but I'll try to get Dylan to do because he's so much better at operating than I am. He is so much better. Shut up, Dylan. How about uh, need and then just mix it up, yeah? Yeah. So I hope so. What do you think? Think we need a bit more? Do 
Do I need to pull closer? Is it good enough? I know that there's another shovel. What happened to it? Oh, it's right here. Try to get an even spread. The headwaters of this spring actually come from up there in the trees and percolates down through the ground to this point. And in the springtime, it actually surfaces. Um, much of this up in this direction is just swampy, in fact. But usually by 1st of June, middle of June at the latest, then it's completely calmed down and, and uh, grass is growing. And you can see the remnants of the skunk cabbage, this stuff here, that stuff over there. Um, the skunk cabbage comes in and takes over and, and uh, and then it's gone. I hope I can catch this on camera. This is interesting. You can see that rivulet stirring up the, the silt in the water. And you can actually see all the rivulets coming this direction from the water seeping in. That's a fun thing to see. Well, now after about 24 hours, we don't have the seepage that we had before at all. We have one little corner here that's leaking right there. And I think that the well itself is gaining on that. I really think it is. It's looking good. <laughs> 